Hello guys, welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. We are a team of extremely passionate teachers, researchers, and statisticians from the top universities of India and USA. So f is a different, twice differentiable functions uh, with the given properties that f0 is 0, f2 is 4, f4 is 4, and f8 is 12. Okay, then it's asked about the following statements which are true or not. So this is IDM MS 2024 problem number 32. So the question is all about the derivatives. You can see first derivative or the second derivative, right? So the, you have to understand from a function, how do you get the information about the derivative? Uh, so how to do that? This is the way out. Now, usually from a function, how do you know about the derivative, right? For example, if you have a function like this, what, what can you say about the derivative? you know that there's a place that it's zero, where the derivative is zero, right? So how can we understand about the derivative from the functional value? And there are two theorems related to that. The two theorems are Rolle's theorem. So what Rolle's theorem says, it's simple that if you have started from a starting point and also end at the same starting point, like in terms of the y value, then somewhere in the between, you will have derivative is equal to zero. Okay, somewhere in the between, you will have derivative equal to zero. That's natural geometrically, right? So similarly, from this given functions and functional values, can we explain anything? Can we get anything about the derivative? Any information about the derivative? Any idea, guys? So it's saying, so let's first plot the function. So it's saying at zero, two, four, and eight. At zero, it's zero. At two, it's four. At four, it's four again. At eight, it's 12. So somewhere, I don't know what it is, but in the middle, it's like this. It can be like this. It can be like this, many th different things. Okay. It can be like this. Many different possibilities are there. But these three points and knobs are important. So based on these four knobs, what can we infer about? It's quite differentiable. What can we infer about that whole thing? So one thing you can understand that since it's between two and four, there is somewhere f dash x is equal to zero. Okay, Pranav and Naman, I am sure Naman knows it. Pranav, did you understand this idea? If it starts yes. at the same point and ends at the same point, there is a point where it's zero. Yes. So somewhere in between <clears throat> four and two, there is a point which is zero. But let's see if in which intervals is asked. 0, 0, 0, 2 is 4, 8. So let's first try to understand 0, 2. So between 0, 2, what is happening? Is there a point that is, so what is the derivative? Is there a point? What can we know about it? That's the question. And that's where, so this whole idea can generalize something called Lagrange's mean value theorem. So what Lagrange's mean value theorem does, it's, it generalizes the whole idea of Rolle's theorem. What does it say? It says a simple thing. If you have start here, let's say these are the two points. So you know the function will go somewhere like this. What it says that this line, the, 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 the slope of this line is somewhere achieved somewhere in the, mid, in the middle, like here, let's say. Somewhere achieved in the middle. Somewhere, right? So that's what Lagrangian mean value theorem says. So therefore, you can say that between zero to two, they can see the slope is nothing but two, right? Somewhere it's the slope is two, right? If you just draw a line yes. here, some the slope will be two somewhere somewhere the slope will be two for example in this case here the slope is two right 
But what can we say about all x? It says about all x. So we know that this is not true. We know that f dash of x is less than or equal to 1 is not true because we know somewhere it will be fx is equal to f dash x will be equal to 2 somewhere, right? So what, what, what we can do? Is f dash x always greater than 0, greater than or equal to 1? Is it always true? That may not be also true because So if this is this, anything, in, it can also go like this, right? Therefore, the slope at this point is less than one, less than two, right? Oh, it's said for some. So that is true, right? Because we know it was for all, but it's it for some. So therefore, we know that the of x is equal to two somewhere. Hence, this is true, OK? But it is not true for all. Because you can see, we can draw something like this. Naman and Pranav understood? Yes. Now, what about f dash of x greater than 1? Great. Thank you, Naman and Pranav too. For some x between 4 and 8, let's see 4 and 8. So, yes, same for 4 and 8 here. It's again 4, f dash x equal to 4. So, you know, something between 4 and 8, somewhere f dash x will be equal to 4. Because 8 minus, sorry, 2. 8 minus 4 by 2, the length. Uh, sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, here it cannot be because the length f dash x is equal to 1. f dash x is equal to 1. Okay, so this length is 1. So it cannot be for some. This length is 1. So it shouldn't be greater than 1, right? f dash x between this and this, you hear it's 4 and here it's 12. Oh, no, no, wait. I'm doing something wrong terribly. Okay. So 12 minus 4 by 8 minus 4. So we get 8 by 2. 8 by 4. That is 2. That means, yes, it's also be true. Because somewhere it will be f dash x is equal to 2. Understood both of you? B and C? Yes, sir. Now, what about the first or third one? Now, it's asking about the double derivative. Now, what can we infer from the derivatives out here? So let's see. So we have seen this so somewhere. We know f dash x equal to two in both of them. So let's draw this zero. This, this, and this. So, so asking about f dash of three. Yes. So you know that somewhere. Here, there is a place where f dash x is equal to 2. And somewhere here, there is a place f dash x is equal to 2. Now, again, apply Rolle's theorem on this f dash of x, gx. Therefore, since both of them are taking some value, same value at two points, g dash of x will be equal to 0 somewhere in between 2 and in between 0 and 8. Right? In, because we do not know where these points happen. right? And g dash of x is nothing but f double dash of x because gx was f dash of x. So somewhere in between f dash of x is also zero. If you're enjoying the video, show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We welcome you again to this passionate community of budding statisticians and data scientists. Let's enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned and stay blessed.